2023 BMW 7 Series. Starting price around $94.295. An entirely new generation of the 7 Series, long BMW's flagship sedan and the brand's most luxurious and advanced product, has debuted for the 2023 model year. The formula doesn't change much from the current cars, powertrains include a turbocharged inline 6 and a twin turbo v8 with a plug-in hybrid joining the lineup later we've driven a thoroughly camouflaged prototype and found that the 7 series veritably floats down the road its handling is a little more live than the 2022 cars thanks to some changes to the chassis and suspension including a new rear wheel steering system its driver assistance tech provides a semi-autonomous driving mode for highway slogs but the car's show-stopping feature is an optional 31.3-inch rear entertainment display called theater screen that drops from the ceiling and streams TV and movies using the onboard Wi-Fi system. The brand's top sedan has a polarizing design, is chock-full of features, and will be available in 6-cylinder 740i, V8760i, hybrid 750e, and electric i7 configurations. What's new for 2023? The 7 Series has been completely redesigned for the 2023 model year and offers an even plusher cabin, more futuristic technology, and bolder exterior styling. Production is slated to begin this summer with deliveries starting in November 2022. Pricing and which one to buy? 740i, $94,295. 760i xDrive, $114,595. The 740i will run BMW's sweetly silken inline 6 and is offered only with rear-wheel drive. We expect most buyers will find this version more than suitable, but for those wanting all-wheel drive or extra horsepower, there's the 760i xDrive, which comes with a twin-turbo V8. If you plan to be chauffeured in your new 7 Series, we'd recommend both the Executive Lounge Package, power adjustable reclining rear seats with massage, among other luxuries, and the cool 31.3-inch theater screen rear seat entertainment system which can stream content via the car's onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. An all-electric variant called i7 will be based on the same body shell, we review that model separately. Engine, Transmission, and Performance a 375 horsepower turbocharged 3.0 liter inline 6 is standard. Models with this engine are designated 740i and is assisted by a 48 volt hybrid system. Rear wheel drive is the only setup available on this model. BMW estimates that the 740i will run to 60 miles per hour in just 5.0 seconds. The 760i xDrive is powered by a 536 horsepower twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8 and comes standard with all wheel drive. This engine also uses a 48 volt hybrid system, and BMW claims it will rip to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. We were able to sample the 8 cylinder prototype model during a brief test drive event in Germany and noted its silky operation as well as powerful acceleration. The new car comes standard with an air suspension, and BMW has incorporated a rear-wheel steering system and adaptive dampers into the chassis as well. As a result, the new car feels more agile than the outgoing model but remains more focused on comfort than athleticism. Fuel Economy and Real-World MPG Fuel economy estimates for the 2023 7 Series lineup have not been published, but we expect small improvements over the outgoing model thanks to the electrical assist and subtle changes to the gas-fired engines. When we get a chance to test the 7 Series for ourselves, we'll take it on our 75 mph highway fuel economy test route and report its results here. For more information about the 7 Series' fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo as the pinnacle of the BMW lineup, the 7 Series brings a cornucopia of luxuries to its occupants. Rich-smelling leathers, stainless steel accents, and fancy glass and wood trim elements give the 7 Series's interior a posh vibe, buyers can even choose a new cashmere upholstery option, should it suit their personal aesthetic. The deluxe interior now has the technology, style, and opulence to better challenge the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Passenger space is generous in both the front and rear, but the 7 Series impresses most when equipped with the Executive Lounge Package, which adds power-adjustable reclining rear seats with massage, a wireless smartphone charging pad for the rear seat area, and adjustable neck cushions on the headrests. 
The trunk is about as large as you'd expect for a full-size luxury car and a rear seat pass-through offers the ability to haul longer items like skis. The BMW 7 Series has never quite enjoyed the same clout as the Mercedes S-Class, but the latest G70 generation is here to make sure that the world doesn't forget that it still serves as the Roundel's flagship model. The 2023 7 Series introduces a new design language for the brand with a distinctive front end and is chock full of new features including a movie theater style screen and a hands-free highway driver assistance feature. It is also part of BMW's expanding lineup of electric models, as the lineup now includes an EV version called the i7 that shares its body and interior with the gas-powered sedan but swaps in a large battery pack and electric motors. BMW says it is simplifying the sedan's powertrain combinations to reduce ordering complexity, but US customers will still have several choices. The 7 Series uses the same dashboard layout as the 9 SUV, which has a large digital gauge display mounted under the same glass panel as the infotainment touchscreen. The reconfigurable displays offer crisp resolution and snappy response. The 7th 7 now comes exclusively in one size and is longer than the previous generation Lee slash Lord the sheer size of the rear doors lets everyone know the stately sedan has Rolls-Royce levels of rear legroom in a screen-heavy cabin. With touch surfaces in the door cards and a massive display attached to the headliner, the G70 waves goodbye to most conventional buttons and switches as nearly everything is now controlled from the screens. Being the M750e rather than the more potent M760e, the plug-in hybrid setup is dialed down to 490 horsepower and 516 pound-feet, 700 newton meters of torque. The large and in charge sedan still does 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, in a decent 4.9 seconds and can travel for up to 55 miles, 89 kilometers, without sipping any gasoline. Please like and subscribe, it's a big motivation for me to create more videos for you. See you in the next video.